Hey guys, welcome back. Tyree from Website Muscle. We are going through our top 10 must do's for good blog posts and we're on number six, images. There's actually quite a bit to say about images. So I'm going to keep it short for the purpose of this video. And I recommend if you don't understand what I'm saying, or if you need some, uh, elaboration on it to go read our ebook about this because I get into a little bit more detail there. So what's important to note about images are uh, three main things. Um, you want to have good images. You don't need to use a lot of images. Don't overdo it. One really quality image um, is enough and set that as your featured image in WordPress. You'll see where that's available on the right side. Um, but Images can really add depth to your post. They can help tell the story that you're telling. Images draw out emotions. I mean, as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So, um, so they can help. They're important. Don't overdo it. One quality image per post is all that's necessary. Um, notice I said quality. Not all images are created equal. There's lots of stock images out there. Um, you don't want junky stock photos. There are good stock images out there too. So I would say err on the side of, of using less. If you can only find one quality image, that's great. That's fine. Uh, number two, so you want good images. Number two, make sure you have permission to use those images. There are copyright trolls on the internet uh, really ready and willing to pounce on people who have, have used images improperly. We've written posts about it in the past. We link to those in the ebook. Um, but there are lots of good sites out there that you can use the images for free. Uh, be sure to note whether or not you're required to provide attribution or give credit to the source for those images, because that's just as bad as you know, stealing someone else's photo. Okay. Um, and then number three is image opti optimization, which is going to be super important for SEO. So what those, what that entails is naming the images, um, file size of the images. Uh, we use a tool called WP Smush. It's a plugin. There's also um, a website you can go to called Tiny JPG tinyjpeg.com. Um, it's a free online tool where you drop your images and it compresses and optimizes them for you. Because uh, file size, if the file size is too large, it's going to slow down your site. And page load time is a Google uh, factor for ranking. So your site performance is very important here. And images can definitely affect that. So give it a name. Give it a... Um, uh, smush the file size, and then use alt text. Now the name and the alt text are alternative text in HTML code. These are important because Google can't see images. It can only read the text associated with the image. So those Google bots that crawl the pages and index them, we want them to know what this page is about. We want them to be able to understand it. And it's also great for ADA compliance, which I talk about in the ebook a little bit. So make sure that you learn a little bit about alt text and renaming your images and file size. Again, there's more information in the ebook, but that that's what's probably most important about images. So there you go.